guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to East Coast Comic Expo, going to meet Corey and Steph down there. Um, I think they're lining up around 9.30. I'm going to go a little bit earlier. I might get the VIP ticket so I can get in right away. Don't know yet. It's probably double the price for it. But it's East Coast Comic Expo Day. Going to go down and try to find some great collectibles and stuff. And I figured I'd bring you guys along once again for the ride. So uh, let's get in the car and get down there. All right, guys, so I'm on my way down. It's a nice day out, as you can see. I had to stop in at the store to get my pre-convention, pre-expo Monster Energy drink. Gonna keep me going for the day. Hopefully, we're gonna be going out to lunch, too, at Sports Rock, which is a really great restaurant we used to go to quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, on the way down, uh, it's about a little after nine. Supposed to meet them there around 9.30 to get lined up, or I may just buy that VIP ticket again. We'll find out soon. Alright guys, so that's it. It's a very, very short clip. Uh, I apologize. I wanted to take some more footage, but uh, I was really having just a great couple hours there, uh, hanging out with some friends. Corey and Steph showed up, and we didn't actually stay at the con very long. We stayed there for maybe an hour and a half. I was there for probably two hours, then I went, picked them up, and we went out to lunch. And actually did a bit of a all-around town hunt. Uh, I did take a little footage. The pinballs you see in one of the clips is actually at Spin It. I went to Spin It. So I'm going to turn this into a bit of a haul video. I uh, went out on a couple hunts previously, just really quick hunts, and didn't take any footage because it's all stuff you guys have seen before with the exception of maybe one or two items. But I'm going to do a haul video, show you, or haul portion of this video since I really didn't take any footage. But I did go to quite a few stores, did get quite a bit of stuff today at East Coast Com Comic Expo. It's uh, always a good time. I always enjoy hanging out with my friends and everything, but the one drawback is they don't seem to get a lot of new vendors or not, not a lot of new stuff. Uh, I wanted to go and see Nick Bradshaw for a variant cover today, but uh, his line was still big. So I think next year what I'm gonna do is get my VIP passes and I'm actually gonna go up, get in line first thing and get a variant cover drawn by Nick Bradshaw, but we'll see how that pans out. But anyways, guys, yeah, I went to Hot Topic and EB Games throughout the week 
Just stopped in the mall quickly. I'm going to just go over really quick what I picked up. And first up, guys, I picked up the Pennywise in Gutter. Definitely a great pickup. I was uh, at work and I saw that they had these. Got a tip from a friend that they had these at Hot Topic. And uh, had to go pick it up. Definitely one of my favorite scenes in the movie. And I see everyone is picking it up. And I'm hoping that uh, I can resist the urge to open this thing. I think it would be one a, a great pop to just display maybe with your movies or something. I'm not... I'm thinking I'd like to display it with my movies. But uh, really fighting the urge. Some really cool box art. And it's kind of a new thing. I haven't really seen the movie moments before. I'm guessing it is all new. But... Uh, yeah, definitely happy to have that one. There are a couple little dings in the box, but there's only two or three left, so and they're not that that bad. But uh, just a cool scene and a great pop to pick up. And next up, I picked up the Invader Zim Pop Rides. It's Zer Zim and Kerr on the Peg. Now, I love this show. My buddy Julian got me into it, and I collected the comic book series there for a while. It's another Hot Topic exclusive. I picked this one up at the same time I got the It Movie Moments pop figure. But uh, there's Gur right up there. Riding the Peg. And if you've seen this show... You know exactly which scene this is from, and if you haven't seen the show, definitely check it out. Especially if you're into like these old, the old cartoons. It's a really great one. Right up top. Now there was only three left on the shelf. One had this all torn to hell, and the other had just the back was just torn and beaten to death. So uh, I was really happy. I got the last one, and I got this one and the Pennywise movie movie moments. For about $11 off. They were both $40 plus tax. So I got them both for about $70. And I even got $30 worth of hot cash. Which I will be using at some point in the future. But again really happy to have that one. And it was the last one in a box that wasn't completely mangled. And next up is the GameStop exclusive Hulk busting out of Hulkbuster Funko Pop. Now this one they had two or three at the time I picked it up. This one was in the best condition. Now spoilers for any of you who haven't seen the movie yet. Some people thought he was going to be busting out of this thing. But uh, he wasn't. This scene never actually happened. But uh, nonetheless it was a cool, cool pop. I had the Hulkbuster so I decided... Why not splurge and get the Hulk busting out of Hulk Buster to add to the collection. I'm going to try to go for mainly Marvel Pops and DC Pops now. But uh, I keep collecting. Can't really stop. These Pops are a bit of a disease. But uh, definitely a cool Pop I got here. And I was glad to pick it up and add it to the collection. Now these next five pops I'm going to do as a collection because I pre-ordered them all at GameStop and they all came in. I got all five Smallville pops. Now I'm sure if you've watched my channel for quite a while or watched my previous channel at Krypton's Fortress, you will know that this is one of the sets of pops I really wanted to see. Smallville was one of my favorite all-time shows and to see these pops finally come out was amazing. So I pre-ordered them quickly, and uh, they all came in the other day, had to go pick them up. We had the original Green Arrow, Justin Hartley, from Smallville. I uh, really like Stephen Amell. I, think I, I, like, I know I like Stephen Amell's Arrow better, but uh, Smallville's Green Arrow with Justin Hartley was uh, still the first. So definitely a cool pop there. And Erica Durrance as Lois was almost perfect. So, there's Lois Lane's pop from Smallville. And my favorite Lex to this day still, Michael Rosenbaum. Had to grab his pop. At some point I may try to find one without this little lip on it, but uh, until then, this one will have to do. 
To the right we have the Clark Kent pop from the field from the pilot episode with the kryptonite necklace on. Definitely a memorable moment. And actually, this is the first scene with him wearing the S-Shield and the last scene ever in Smallville. Clark Kent busting out of the rooftop door of the Daily Planet and ripping his shirt open to expose the S. Now, unfortunately, we never get to see Tom Welling in the actual suit. Didn't want to wear it. I still feel Tom Welling was the best Clark Kent. He by no means was the best Superman, though. Um, I would have loved to have seen some sort of continuation. And you know what? We may actually still get to see it somehow. I've heard some stuff online that Tom might be interested in coming to one of the new DC shows. Probably not as Clark Kent or Superman, but uh, who knows? We may see him in the suit someday. Although I believe it is too late, unfortunately. But... Uh, Definitely happy to have picked these up at EB a couple days ago, a few days ago. If you can find them, definitely pick them all up. If you love the show, it's a great keepsake. Go find them. And starting with today's ECCE pickups, I'm going to start with the Pops. You guys must be getting tired of them by now. But I did pick up the Hellboy and Nung Un Rama, the specialty series Funko Pop. Now, the guy who's working at that booth, got to give him a big thanks. He actually pointed out this one was behind there. It was one of the ones I wanted. I've actually got the Hellboy Chase pop, so uh, this one's going to go along quite nicely with it. Uh, but that just means I have to find the rest of this wave, because I think I'm going to try to complete it at some point. But uh, yeah, definitely happy. This was, one of my f this was my first purchase. There was actually one other pop, though that I picked up with it, but this was the first purchase of the day, the Hellboy Anung Unrama Specialty Series Pop. And the only other pop I picked up today is the Storm Pop. It's the original pop, number 59. He actually, this clerk, or the attendant at the booth, pointed this one out. It did have a few dings on it, but, uh, Overall, the box is still in pretty good condition. And, uh, yeah, this is the only other pop I picked up today, guys. Um, I saw the value online. I only paid about $12 for this one, so it's definitely a good deal. Uh, I think you can get around $25 to $30 Canadian for it. So, definitely a good deal at under half price. But, uh, yeah, happy to have that one in the collection. Next up, you may recognize from the previous scenes, a guy painting a picture. This is actually one of the demos he had on display, and I saw it three years ago. If you'll remember my video, I think I might have been on Krypton's Fortress, but he had a booth, and I got a, uh, sorry, a Fortress of Solitude with Superman in front of it. Well, I saw this one then and wanted to get it for my brother, who is in the Canadian Forces. So I picked him up this one. The guy's super talented, as you can see. He makes this out from nothing. So I got this one for my brother, and it was one for 25 or two for 20. So I did get another one. One to go with my Superman in front of the fortress. I got him to do the Batman. So now I have a Superman and a Batman picture. Didn't film him doing this one. He already had it started by the time. I couldn't get my phone out in time, but... Uh, yeah, he already had that one started. It, it only took him like three minutes per picture, so uh, and then 20 minutes for drawing. But definitely cool. Gotham in the background. The bat signal. And there he is. The sad orphan. I kid, of course. Batman's still pretty cool. But I'm happy to have that in the collection, and it's going to go right beside my Superman standing in front of the Fortress of Solitude. And now on to my two favorite pickups. For as long as I can remember, I've been going to East Coast Comic Expo wanting an original piece of art. I saw this guy twice, and I passed on it twice, but this time I went back and picked up the Superman Annual, issue 9, page 15, original artwork. It was definitely a good deal. 
He had this one marked for, I believe, $65, and I wanted to find a really good Superman one. He didn't have a great Superman one, but there's Clark Kent. Lois Lane. But that's not the only one I got. I got two of them. This one was marked at $85. I got both for $125. It was such a great deal. This one is Steel, issue number 6, page 7. There's steel, really good page with steel on it. And very happy to have picked this one up. I'm gonna try to find some UV resistant frames and maybe frame these, hang them on the wall. Uh, but I'm not sure yet, but that is definitely probably the pinnacle of the collecting today. The number one, my favorite items picked up. Finally have my first two pieces of original art and I'm afraid it's another black hole I'm gonna fall down into, but uh, Definitely one worth collecting. Really happy to have those. Hopefully I can get some more. And like I said, I left the con. We went for lunch and then went into spin it. You saw the footage of the pinball machines, but I did pick one thing up. The DC Multiverse Suicide Squad, Batman. Got the air breather, all the extra batarangs. I think that's the grenade, this grappling gun, the let's see if I can focus it there, the killer croc torso piece, and the handcuffs. Happy to have that one. I've already got a few Batman, so I think I'm gonna swap out the head sculpt to the air breather and display him accordingly. But uh, yeah, happy to get that one. Saw him there a couple weeks ago. Wanted to pick him up. And these next two I picked up at Walmart. Finally, they've reduced that man bat or the bat creature from Batman v Superman to $14. So I picked that up. Still trying to build that grappling gun. Definitely a cool scene in that movie. And it's still my favorite from the DCEU. And also picked up the DC Comics Multiverse Reverse Flash from the TV show. Really cool villain. And I don't know, if I can get enough pieces, I might just build that, uh, build a figure, which is, is the, I actually don't know which one this is, <laughs> but, uh, might try to build it. Collect and connect. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I just came across it. I had to double check the price. I didn't even see the price, but it was $14 as well. So, uh, yeah, they have the Lex Luthor there. I think I'm going to go back and grab that one, but uh, grab these two today at Walmart. And my last pickup for today, guys, we stopped by the EB up on Trinity. Didn't pick anything up there, but I did get this steel book, the DC Universe movie, Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Now, a friend from work told me it was amazing. So I kind of want to take a look. And the Steelbook was only $24. The 4K Blu-ray was a lot more. But uh, yeah, definitely wanted to get this one. It looks good, so I'm gonna give it a watch. I'm off for a couple days. I've been working a lot, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to get this video up very soon for you guys. But uh, definitely gonna try to watch it this weekend. And hopefully, possibly even get a review up. If you guys want that, let me know again in the comments below. I'll let you see the back here. But yeah, definitely happy to have that. My DC movie comic, uh, comics movies, the collection is growing. One more item I picked up, guys, recently. It was probably a few days ago. I think it was Tuesday I picked this one up. But I picked up Black Panther on 4K Blu-ray. It was a really, really good movie. It was better than I was expecting. But uh, definitely not worth the amount of praise for me. But uh, you know what? If you guys enjoyed it more than anything, then awesome. Don't let anyone ever tell you guys what you can and can't like. So if you love this movie, then all the better for it. I love Justice League, even though it had some flaws that I'm still not okay with. Uh, Batman v Superman is my favorite movie ever, and uh, a lot of people don't like it. So don't let anyone tell you what to like and not like, but uh, 
definitely a great movie. Glad I got it in 4K. Can't wait to get the TV to watch it again in 4K. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool movie. And I thought The City was amazing. That was a really good storyline they put in there. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a watch if you guys haven't. And with that, guys, that is the complete collection haul for the last two weeks of my life, plus the East Coast Comic Expo pickups. Again, I'm sorry I didn't get any in-town footage or a lot of East Coast Comic Expo footage, but uh, I was definitely enjoying it with some friends. I want to thank Corey and Steph for going along with me. We're con buddies. Um, I will be seeing them again for HalCon, I believe, this year. Uh, hoping to someday get to Toronto Fan Expo and uh, film some stuff there and go and meet some great people there. I'm hoping this year at HalCon though, they have some really great guests to uh, kind of offset the disappointment of not being able to go to Toronto Fan Expo. But uh, yeah, ECCE again, I got a lot of great stuff. Uh, happy to have gone and I wanna thank Julian as well. Julian was there too uh, with his kids so we couldn't really hang out too much but uh, I wanna thank Julian for showing up and hanging out with me for a few minutes. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the haul. Let me know down in the comments below which item did I get today that you liked the most. And um, yeah, I will see you guys all on my next hunt. I think this will do it for this video. But uh, I will see you guys on another hunt very soon. I should also have, I'm in the middle of getting my Hot Toys General Zod review done and edited. Uh, just been working a lot and just trying to get that up. So I don't know if that will be up before you see this video or after, but uh, you'll see it very soon as well as this one. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like rating. Give me a uh, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed any of the content you saw today. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vero. Just look for me, Kryptonian Collector. And I will see you guys all on the next video.